just the same place that I went to and just smush them together, had more hours, and boom, a family rotation was birthed. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Natalie. I am a family nurse practitioner and basically the goal of my channel is to help pre-nursing, nursing as well as FNP students get through school as easily as possible. I also take a look at personal statements and resumes and help review them. So if you have any need for that, please take a look at the description box down below and it'll tell you about the whole process of how that can be done. So this is part four out of my little series of talking about my clinical rotations and my experiences and all of that. So for this this video I'm going to be talking about my family rotation. Now I've discussed that I went to school and had a clinical during COVID so of course there's going to be a lesser supply of places to have clinical sites and you know schools are, going to be, are getting a little bit more flexible of finding sites and how many hours you need and stuff like that. So I can't speak for every school and I can't speak for every single time period of how it's going to be moving forward but for me I was not able to find a family rotation on its own. So you know you have primary care, you have pedi uh, pediatricians, office, and then you have family care, which sees people from birth to death. So in this particular case, I could not find a family rotation site on its own. It was very difficult. I don't know why there was just not a, enough supply or there was just, you know, they were not taking students because of what was going on. So what my school allowed me to do and what I did was for family rotation, let's say for example you needed 250 hours total. So you're expected to see a certain amount of hours of adults and a certain amount of hours of you know kids. And of course when you're in a family rotation, you're not always gonna be guaranteed to see X number of kids, but you're probably more than likely going to see X number of adults. So what I did was where I had my adult rotation, I stayed there longer and had more hours to fill up the, fam the adult part of my family rotation and then in my pediatric clinical I stayed there longer to get more hours to fulfill the pediatric part of my family rotation therefore kind of creating my own family rotation they want you to see a certain amount of kids and a certain amount of hours a certain amount of age groups so while I was already in my clinical site for pediatrics I just stayed there longer and was able to fulfill and make my own family rotation fulfilling all the hours and the patients and the ages that I needed to see so I don't know if that's going to be something for all schools to to agree to that but that might be something that you consider doing if you cannot find a family rotation um, that's just what I did it worked out very nicely because I've already had a mutation at my internal med rotation as well as my pediatric rotation so that way it was really nice that I can just stay here a little bit longer and create my own family rotation so basically for those resources would be the same that I talked about before in my other videos which would be for the adult part of my family rotation having five minute clinical consult having Hippocrates having a little bookmark for your ASCVD score PHQ 9 score gap add seven center criteria. There's tons more of those little questionnaires, but those are the main ones that I personally use almost daily. So that'd be something to have. And then of course, for the pediatric part, I talked about Bright Futures, um, using that for wellness checks. Those are very great resources for you to use while you're in clinical. So that might be an option for you if you cannot find a family rotation on your own. Try asking your um, either your clinical instructor or the head, say, hey, can I just spend a little bit more time at my primary care as well as my pediatric rotation to kind of create your own family one. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to be okay with it, especially during these times that it's a little bit more difficult to find clinical sites. Again, I can't speak for in the future where hopefully everything is a lot more, you know, a little goes back to normal, you know, a new normal or whatever. And they might expect you to find a real family you know, rotation, but this worked out well. I saw all the patients that I had to see, so it was actually maybe a little bit better than if I had went to a family rotation. But that's my advice for this. Sorry, it's a little bit of a quick video. It's pretty much the same resources because it's just the same place that I went to and just smushed them together, had more hours, and boom, a family rotation was birthed. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, whenever it may be. If you need any help with your resumes or personal statements reviewing them, please take a look at the description box. It'll tell you everything you need to know. And remember to always, always believe in yourself. All right, you guys have a great one. Thank you for watching this little series. All right, bye guys.